Today we're going to do things a little different. Um, I'm doing something that I do not recommend doing. I am in a parking garage in Tacoma, Washington. It is approximately 1.35 in the morning and it's pretty empty in here so I think it's safe to go ahead and try this experiment. I am going to do a little bit of driving with the nearsighted VR augmented aid. Um, I'm going to have it recording on the phone as well as having a camera on me at all times. Um, and hopefully I won't bump into a wall or scratch my car in any way, shape or form. So without further ado, I'm going to put the headset on. Okay, everything looks okay. This is probably one of the scariest things I've ever decided to do. So I'm gonna put the seatbelt on, obviously. And make sure this phone is as good as it can be, position-wise. Gonna let this focus. I really wish I cleaned my windshield a little better. Okay, deep breath. I'm going to do a little bit of driving. If I don't feel comfortable, obviously I'm going to stop. Um, as I said, I do not recommend this. I'm the creator of this app, and I don't recommend this. Okay, I'm going to roll down this window here. Just so I can hear a little better. Just in case I hear a car coming. I'm going to take off my headset completely and I'm sorry this is scary. Oh, I think I heard the tripod go. The reflections on the windshield are the worst. Oh wow. This is really bad. I'm going very slow so the camera can focus on me and focus on the road. So I mean, if you're in a cemetery or something, I could see doing this. How far over am I? Wow, this is extremely scary. I thought I'd be able to go faster than this, but the camera keeps hitting the windshield. It keeps trying to focus on things that are reflecting in the windshield, which is a little interesting. Oh wow, this is so creepy. As I said, I do not recommend this at all. Okay. i pick up a little speed here. Make sure there's no car behind me. Woo! Up, oh, camera went out of focus. This is so creepy, guys. Oh my god. Okay, is that all dark? Okay, I'm gonna have to stop the video because the lights are off in there and I am not gonna be able to see whatsoever. So I'm gonna try to park. Okay, so we're gonna do round two. I'm gonna head down. So I went up a couple floors. I'm surprised I didn't scratch the car. Um, I was able to see pretty much everything. The major issue is moving that quickly, even five, 10 miles an hour in a parking garage. Everything is trying to focus on everything with the autofocus. So the biggest issue was reflections in the windshield. They kept trying to focus on it. Uh, that's kind of bad when driving. That's not what your focus is. Your focus is outside the windshield. So we're gonna try this one more time going down. And I'm also getting a little bit of a headache looking through this 
Actually, that seems a little better. You can see I have the rear view mirrors and all the mirrors, so... And, okay, well, let me try this one more time. It's funny, because if I shake my head a little bit, it actually focuses on something else, which is kind of nice. I hope to... Wow. Okay. There we go. Ooh, this is so freaky. I do not want to crash my car. It is the last thing I want to do. Like, oh, wow. Okay, come on. Focus, focus, focus. Oh, this is so weird. This is why you don't want to try driving with this. Which begs my next question. I'm kind of curious how the eSight, they were able to get somebody to fly a plane using one of these. I mean, I guess if you're using it long enough, you get used to it, but it just, it's not the same. It's crisp, it's clear, but the depth perception, it's semi-off. Like, I really should try to calibrate things better with this. Like, it looks like I can touch that, but it's probably a couple feet away. Yeah, it's like six feet away. This actually makes me feel better knowing I can hold my arm out. So yeah, so why did I make this video today? Well, number one, I'm going to be making the flash video, the uh, flash file for Nearsight free again, uh, since the Indiegogo did not become successful, and we're, I'm kind of abandoning this platform anyways. So it's about time to make it open source again. Obviously, if you guys can't hear me on the video, I will be doing this as commentary later on. Oh, I'm doing a lot better this time. It really helps that I'm able to hold my hand out the window just to make sure I'm not getting too, too close to anything. So I have no idea how fast I'm going. I really should have put a camera on my speedometer. So yeah. Uh, I'm probably going to start doing a Kickstarter in a couple months here. This is becoming easier. And I'm all the way back down already to where I started. That is freaking awesome. Okay, so went up a couple floors. Drive test successful, actually. Um, as I said, it uh, takes some getting used to, but once you're used to it, Wow, I had my headlights off that whole time. That's impressive. <laughs> you know, that probably would have helped a little bit if I had my uh, headlights on. Actually, you know what? That's a good test, though. So that was me driving with the nearsighted VR augmented aid. Does it work? Yes. Do I recommend it? Absolutely not. It actually gets easier and easier getting used to it the more you do it, but eh, where are you going to practice? That's, that's a major thing. At any rate, have a great one.